tracking tropical storm Dorian. South Florida is still in the cone as Dorian could impact parts of the state this weekend. And take a look at this new video out of Martinique. Dorian dumping heavy rains, leaving flooded streets and down power lines across that small French island. The storm is now taking aim at Puerto Rico. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the latest forecast track. Craig. So lots to cover here. Lots going on. Of course, no tropical situation is easy, and this is uh, certainly not going to be the exception. There are a lot of hurdles Dorian down here has to overcome to end up somewhere here where we live. Let's talk about those. First off, what happened during the day today? You can see Dorian there moving through the islands, the eastern islands of the Caribbean there, the Lesser Antilles as they're known, and kind of sputtering along here. No consistent reddish blue clouds because Dorian's been still sucking in some dry air from time to time, and that's an inhibiting factor. In fact, Dorian hasn't strengthened as much at all during the day. Pressures are about the same. The wind speed's about the same. Uh, but Dorian has uh, at least maintained somewhat of a, of a big storm envelope here as it's been moving off to the northwest. Now, an interesting thing happened during the day today. Hurricane Hunter's out investigating it, said, there's the center, there's the center. And then they said, uh-oh, we're having a hard time finding the center. And then they went on up to the north a little bit, and they said, oh, there's the center there. So it literally reformed or jumped up to the north, northwest there. And if you think about this is the initial point of a track, well, the whole track kind of shifts when it does that. And uh, this was not really forecast, but a lot of times when we have a developing uh, tropical storm or something like that, a system like that, they tend to jump around a little bit, sometimes reform a little bit. But that's been the case today. Now, here's the five o'clock advisory. 50 mile an hour winds moving to the west northwest at 13. Still a relatively small tropical storm. The winds don't extend out that far. Future track takes it toward Puerto Rico. This is the Wednesday afternoon time frame, Wednesday night, and then Thursday afternoon here. The track has shifted a little bit to the right here because of that jump today. So now more of Puerto Rico could be under the gun from a strong tropical storm. Then after that, that's where it comes into play here because the center moves up and then turns to the west. Equal odds here for about the entire peninsula. What's steering it along the way? Oh, it's those blocks in the high pressure systems in the Atlantic and there's an opportunity to go north there. Right now, Dorian is moving towards that break in the block, but eventually this high pressure system over here, it's gonna wanna turn Dorian back to the west because it can't go to the north. This is the block. The big question is, how strong is that block going to be? How does Dorian respond to it? Just too many unknowns. Does it even get here and make it through the northern Antilles, uh, the greater Antilles there? Just too close to call right now. But certainly we'll be watching it tomorrow, topping off our After the Storm Hurricane Kit. We'll be talking more about that coming up. Thursday, we'll be watching for how the islands impacted the storm. Friday, we'll be watching for its direction and speed at that time and how organized the storm is for what it could mean to South Florida. More on that in our local weather, which is a little bit stormy and hot, coming up. Yeah, the next couple of days will be critical. We'll be paying attention, Craig. Thank you. And help